Hello everyone, Namaskar. So today we are going to solve one more question from binary numbers. We are continuing our practice with binary numbers. Uh, do watch uh, the playlist on binary numbers for more such problems. So let's start with this as usual. First study the, uh, read the question, the remainder and the quotient of the binary division. So we have to perform this division and to report the quotient and the remainder. So uh, uh, we can uh, perform this by two methods. First, uh, doing the division in binary only and then uh, report the quotient and the remainder that will also be in binary. And the second method uh, goes like uh, we have to convert both of them to decimal, perform the operation, find the quotient and the remainder and whatever quotient and remainder will be there, we will convert that back into binary. So second method looks tedious, but we will do that also. So let's begin. So we have the number 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. And this is to be divided by 1, 1, 0. Let's divide this. Uh, as you can see, it will not go in first time if we take 3 bit because 101 zero one is smaller. So we write 10 and subtract, we'll get the same number. Now we can bring this 1 down. 1011 larger. So goes in one time, 110. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 1, I will have to take a borrow. So this becomes 2 now. This is 1. Now become 1, 0, which is nothing but 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. So 1 here. And this after giving borrow became 0. So 0. 1, 0, 1 again smaller than 1, 1, 0. But now I can take 1 down. This is larger. Can go in one time. 1, 1, 0. This is 1, I am subtracting. This is 0. This is again 2 minus 1, which is 1. This is 0. This is 0. I can again take this 0 down. And in one time, 1, 1, 0. So 0, 1 minus 1 is 0. Again, this uh, 2 minus 1 is 1 and rest all are 0. So I am getting 100 zero zero as because 100 zero zero is smaller than 110. Zero, so this will be obviously our remainder. And this will be our quotient. Because remainder is always smaller than the division. Okay. This one is your divisor. This one was your dividend. Fine. So let's check our answer because we have a lot of time uh, because we are not giving examination right now. We are here for the matter of learning. So let's give it a try by second method also, which is by converting both of them to decimal. Perform operation, bring back to binary. So one zero triple one zero. One zero one one. 1, 0. This will be multiplied by 1 which is 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4 and 2 power 5. So as you can see this will be 0 into 1 is 0 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 0 plus 32. 32 plus 8 is 40 plus 6 is 46. And this is obviously to the base 10. What we are dividing with? which is the divisor is 110. It is quite easy to convert that into decimal. 110. This is 1. This is 2. This is 4. 
so you are getting 4 plus 2 which is 6 and this 6 is to the base 10 now division is a uh, quite easy you have just to divide 46 by 6 we can do it easily 6 into 7 is 42 so 7 is what you are getting you can also write uh, 46 like this uh, 6 into 7 plus 4, uh, 4 this is 42 this is 4 so this uh, gives you 7 as your quotient and 4 as your remainder. Now we will have to check what are their notations in terms of bind, binding. So 7 if I divide by 2 3 times 1 as a remainder. If I again divide by 2 1 time 1 is my remainder. So 7 I can write as 1 1 1. This is to the base 10. This is to the base 2. Now I have 4 also. So if I divide 4 by 2. Uh, 2 times get remainder 0. Again by 2. 1 time. Okay. And uh, I get again a remainder 0. So 1 0 0 is what I am getting. 4 4 is 1 0 0. Fine. So, so, so. 7, which was my quotient, is 1, 1, 1 in binary. And remainder is 1, 0, 0 in binary. Let's check. Quotient was 1, 1, 1 or not. Yes, it was. And what about remainder? Was it 1, 0, 0? Yes, it is. So, both of them give giving us the same result. That means we don't need to go ahead and check uh, our solution. Uh, we are correct. Uh, because at least we have confidence in this, the second one, because this is not giving us incorrect, uh, because uh, these are simple calculations. You might for some time perform a mistake here, but no mistake, because 46 divided by 6 is not also a big problem. 6 into 7 plus 4, 4 is your remainder, 7 is your quotient. So I hope you learned something. If you don't know how to divide, you can practice more problems. I already told there is a playlist separately made for binary numbers. So that's it from my side. Do challenge your friend with your this question. Say this and challenge him. Let's see whether he is able to do this or not. Uh, maybe he will do some, uh, give you some other method. And now then you will end up with two or three more methods as well. So that's it from my side. Thanks and have a nice day.